I think the president's very committed to making sure that when we leave Syria, <clears throat> that ISIS is completely defeated and we're inside the 10 yard line and the Iran Kurd situation has to be dealt with. So I think we're in a pause situation where we're reevaluating what's the best way to achieve the president's objective of having people pay more and do more. Uh, we have the British and the French still in Syria. God bless them. But the region needs to put some money into Syria. How do you hold Raqqa that's completely destroyed without having somebody help rebuild it? I think the president's trip to Iraq was eye-opening. Uh, the commanders there told him that ISIS was in a world of hurt, not completely destroyed, but well on their way. I think operations to completely destroy and decimate ISIS are, uh, are going to be ongoing and are going to be accelerated. So the president assured me that he's going to make sure he gets the job done, and I assured him that nobody has done more to defeat ISIS than he has. Then you got the Kurds that we need to be concerned about. They stepped up when nobody else would, and he's very aware of that problem. He's going to be talking to Turkey about assuring Turkey that they will have a buffer zone that they need, given their concerns about the YPG Kurds. But the last thing in the world we want is a war between Turkey and the Kurds. That takes pressure off ISIS. And the last thing we want, in addition to that, is Iran to be the big winner here. So the approach the Democrats have taken have made it pretty hard to have a discussion. They're telling us what they won't do. After lunch today, I think the president is telling us what he wants, and he's willing to do some things to get what he wants. And to my Democratic friends, there are some things that you want that can be had if you agree to border security in a reasonable way. The reason we're not talking is because the House Democrats have told us there's no way, no how you're going to get anything you want.